stylist named Phil McCrory was shampooing a really oily head of hair one day while he was watching the Exxon Valdez oil spill footage and he saw these otters coated in oil and the water around them was a bit cleaner and he just thought, oh, of course, the fur is soaking up the oil just like hair does. So he went and took a bunch of loose clippings of hair off the floor of his salon and he took a kiddie pool, poured a bunch of water in it, poured a quart of oil in it and he discovered that one quart of oil um, is soaked up by one pound of hair. Uh, a quart it, of oil per pound of hair. Yeah, um, but if you make it into a mat, you can wring it out and you can reuse it up to a hundred times. Hair is really tough. This is a hair mat. This is a mat made of human hair. Is this clean? It's clean. It's been boiled. It's been flash boiled. And so there's no lice or anything. It doesn't smell like anything. <laughs> Nightly whiplash. Yeah. <laughs> How do they get human hair? Well, um, the, in China, it's a, it's a commodity and it's purchased. But in the United States, um, it's hard to purchase hair. <laughs> so um, our charity works with Why is so, it hard to purchase hair in the United States? Because it's not recycled yet. There's no pickup system for hair from salons. Um, but a lot of salons want to get involved. And so all of these boxes have been mailed into us from hair salons all around the country. Yeah, and school kids mail in hair, classrooms mail in hair. Salons just sweep it up into bags, loose like this, and they send it into us. Great, uh, great, yeah, great. Yeah, we get a lot of gray hair from uh, Florida. <laughs> and blue, I would guess. Probably from And once you've made the mats, what's the next step? Well, then you have an oil spill, you take them out to the beach. As you saw for the Costco Busan oil spill, we were able to just dab them on the droplets of oil all over the beach and pick it up that way. But ideally, you take a hair mat, and if there's a, a tanker spill in the middle of the bay, for example, you'd want to put these hair mats on the water. So you just drop the hair mat on the oil, and you're saying you throw the hair mat down, you pick it up, and the oil is gone. Hair is hydrophobic. So you soak up the oil, the hair holds onto the oil, but the water sheds off. You think maybe the water's not afraid of the hair? <laughs> maybe the water's not just totally freaked out it's, by the hair mat? It's hydrophobic. We're it's, gonna do a demonstration of that, see how that works. Yeah, I'm gonna show you. Okay, so you wanna see how this works? You got your gloves on? Uh, I got the gloves on. Okay, so this is your hair mat. I'm gonna pour in the oil. You're gonna see how oil floats. See how the oil is floating right there? Yeah, now go ahead and put the hair mat down on top of it. Yeah. Lift it up, and you should be able to see clear water coming off. Clear yeah, water keep it, keep it in off. there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Totally clean. Totally clean. Yeah. Oil spill in your house? Yeah. Exactly. Get some human hair. Exactly.